Hello and welcome to Via Dana here in northern Italy, which is the home of Almacrawler. The designers and the test engineers are really busy here in the factory, designing and manufacturing new exciting products for the height access industry. And I'm delighted to be joined here by Oana, who is the key account manager for Almacrawler in the UK and in Ireland. First of all, Oana, it's fantastic to be here and fantastic to get hands-on experience with these amazing new products. And we're here with the Belenium the B1890. It's a fantastic machine. Tell me all about this great invention. Well, first of all, you are a very welcome. We're happy to have you here. We always love having people around. Um, we actually, uh, this, this the, the crawler park, which is our demo area, actually came into fruition last year, and we've had a lot of fun uh, showing off um, our machines to uh, our dealers, distributors, partners, clients, anybody that wanted to come and have a little bit of a taste of Alma Crawler. So today we're looking at the, the, the Belenium series. Actually, this is our, let's just say, uh, probably bestseller, top of the range. We're talking about an 18 meter uh, working height machine. Um, there are a lot of things to be said about this. Uh, probably the first thing that I'm gonna say is, if you look at it, you'll say this is a spider lift, right? Um, the difference is we've kind of put in um, a bit of Almax. So this is a spider lift, yes, but it will work at height up to nine meters without the stabilizers. That also on an inclination up to 10 degrees. So basically you get a self-propelled um, piece of equipment. Um, now, what, when we thought about stabilization, what we wanted to do as well was to give you a bit more option. So on this machine, you'll find a variable stabilization. It's a little bit stranger than what everybody else is doing uh, in a good way. Uh, we've actually uh, made it fully automatic. That means that you go from narrow to wide from the, con uh, the console, from the controller. It has a telescopic extension that comes out to allow you to either go, like I was saying, from narrow to wide or a combination of this based on what the situation you have in front of you. Now, another thing that um, we wanted to make sure wa um, that operators uh, had was safety. And because of that, on each of the stabilizers, you'll find a sensor that calculates the angle of descent of the stabilizer. Now, if I were you, I would ask, why do you need that for? You've got pressure sensors on the, on the pads. Well, in reality, what will happen is our sensors, our angle of descent sensors, will uh, calculate the positioning of, this, of this, each stabilizer and will only allow the machine to um, start working at height once the stabilizers are safely on the ground. So that's an, that's, that's an amazing safety feature that we were very happy to be able to implement on this product. Um, thirdly, what I would like to mention is the fact that this machine will accommodate 250 kg in the basket and as our jibby line uh, we've got a variable outreach on it that means that we have a load sensor that calculates the exact precise load in the basket and it will give you more or less outreach based on that this has a maximum outreach of 10.9 10 meters so again um, that's something we're very proud of um, I'll finish off by saying that we also um, kind of redesigned the whole uh, undercarriage game. So this is an undercarriage that goes from the standard 78, 79 cent uh, centimeters, which is very standard on, on, on spider lifts, to 1.39. That has given us extra stability to accommodate for the features that I'd mentioned before, you know, traveling at height at nine meters. But also, uh, we were able to implement um, uh, the automatic tensioning of the crawlers with the hydraulics of the machine. So no more grease, no more maintenance. Um, it's something that I know has been a pain point for operators and rental companies alike for quite some time. And the one thing I like to say is that when you have the, the legs up, mm -hmm. the machine is very, very narrow, isn't it? So yes. you can get it into very, very tight spots, whether that be on a building site or going into so, uh, the doors of a building itself to get it in there and then the legs come down and then you can get working. But see, that's, that's a standard feature of spider lifts. We were aiming to give you that. Uh, standard feature which is expected of a, of a machine this of, uh, with this design what we added to that was as you can see this is a long machine and we're not here to hide that but if your work if you're getting in through a narrow um, um, uh, uh, pathway with your um, stabilizers up if you have an issue with the length of the machine you can simply pull the boom up 
and then turn it around as you would with just any, basically any self-propelled um, boom lift or even a scissor lift. So that's the added bonus to how uh, we saw uh, accessibility. So Awana, here we are where the power comes from. Yes. Um, tell us, this is very important because a lot of guys in the rental industry and with, with higher companies, mm -hmm. they want to know what type of engine is in the machine because different engines, of course, have different, different types of reputations. Well, I know, I know you guys like, you know, you, you guys like your engines, so I can imagine everybody being curious about that. So what have we got inside of this, in this Blenium? So the Belenium, uh, the 18 meter um, Belenium comes with a two cylinder Yanmar engine. It's a diesel engine that generates 10.2 kilowatts of power. And you also get a 220 or 110 volt electric pump that we'll see in the front to, um, so that you can actually plug it in and use it electrically if you're working inside or if you're working on the side of a building. So I can just drive the machine off my trailer, I arrive at the job, and then I can just bring it into the building or wherever I am working in an urban area and then just plug in the electrics and away I go, which means less emissions, yep. less fuel burn yes. and providing a cleaner environment. And also less noise. Let's not forget that sometimes when you're working in an urban setting, what you're looking for is less noise. You don't want to disturb uh, everybody around you. Um, this actually can be plugged into regular domestic plug plugs, so it has a very low uh, absorption of power. Okay, plenty of power, less emissions. Yes. What I really like about this machine is that you've got loads of doors and panels <laughs> yeah. that gives you great access to everything you need. And, and everything has a key on it. It does, so it's all nice and safe and secure. But I know from my background, the worst thing I hated was having to get the spanners out to take off loads of screws and bolts to get at what I need to look at to get the machine. Because no machine is 100% perfect and will be little issues, but you've got plenty of access. And what I really like is the storage. So what we have here is our legs, our, our pads here for our feet. And you just unscrew the bolt and you can I've just, got it in my pocket. I know you have. I've and then got it in my pocket. You just take them out and you drop them on the ground and you put them onto the jack legs. They themselves. actually they actually fit in like a shoe. So you'll take this off and then you will fit it in and the the pad will basically act like a shoe. You won't need to actually physically move it when you're moving the machine around. It will be attached to your foot, to your stabilizer. That's right. And in other machines from other manufacturers, you've got to keep on moving the pads, drop them on the ground, drop the machine, where these sitting lovely inside in the jack leg itself and they move along so you get that yep. perfect stabilization Absolutely. every time. Yeah. Exactly. But this was one of the things that because we do a lot of reverse designing on our machines. So what we look at is um, what are the biggest issues that operators are currently facing? One of them was if you're working alone and you have to, re you know, you have to pull your stabilizers up and put them ba back down again. What you'll have to do is set up each individual pad. And that actually takes a lot of time and a little bit of precision, if I might be honest. So what we wanted to do was to give it an actual shoe, something that would move with the machine and the operator once he's in the basket and he's working. He doesn't need to come off because, like I said, the machine stabilizes and destabilizes itself while you're in the basket and you've got the, the pads that follow you around. So that's pretty comfortable. So with this machine, you would always have your feet firmly on the ground. I would say so, yes, <laughs> exactly. So here we are at the working side of the machine, so our operators will get into this basket. And what I really love about what Alan McCrawler do, that all, everything's interchangeable but I can get this basket on and off really, really quickly to put something else on. Absolutely. Just like you said, our um, idea for the uh, basket, but also any sort of, op you know, like um, extras, um, was to make it interchangeable with our other products. So the baskets that you can put on our Jibby line are the same baskets that you can put on our Billenium line. It has quick releases. You simply have to lower this lever and then you will easily take the basket off. It's aluminium, so that means that you can easily take it on and off. It usually takes a couple of people, but I've had, I've had people, I've seen people take it off on their own anyhow. Um, actually, all of our machines can accommodate, all of our bigger machines can accommodate a 1.4 standard basket or, as you can see here, the 1.8 width um, uh, basket, which is what we call the large basket, but also a winch kit. All of um, all of our jibbies and all of our billeniums are fitted with the um, uh, the valves to accommodate the winch kit. The winch kit has a maximum capacity of 200 kg, and it effectively um, allows you to use the machine as uh, pick and carry. Yep, and also what you have, you can have electricity up here into your basket, so your 110 or your 220 Absolutely. volt, and then you also have air and water. Yeah. 
and which is great because if you want to wash windows if you're up high or the facade of a building you can plug it in run it up there for your for your steam cleaner or for feeding in your your air as well and that's a really really nice on add-on isn't it well actually you know what we've discovered is um, because of the non problem of accessibility of our of our GB and Billenium line um, they are usually used in a lot of maintenance work so it can be uh, either um, an urban setting or industrial setting and they will actually get um, to do jobs just like the ones that you described where they have to go and clean the facade of a building clean windows they might need um, the uh, they might need to clean the gutters so it's all of these kinds of um, giving you extra things to play around and to increase the applications of the product and finally <laughs> the Autec controller here I love it because you can plug it in here as it is there you can plug it down Absolutely. at the operator station there so I can when I'm get it to the job site I can, nice back safe I can drive it on and off the trailer drive it into position and then when I'm ready to go to work I can just pop it up here yeah. into the basket holder yes. and away we go yeah absolutely and you know what I really love about it is the fact that I think um, we have multiple options on controllers we've got the classic LED controller so that you get a nice set of uh, LEDs that will indicate all of the useful information you might be looking for when you're working with it but we also have our display one which is uh, something Something that actually you'll find this peculiar but that was the first design we thought of we thought we need something that will give the operator all the information that we we have due to the sensors and due to all of the software that we have on the machine so anything going from the height you're at the height you can reach the outreach you can reach based on your load sensor that tells you precisely how many um, kgs are in the basket that's something that I have to say I hate about it because every time I get on it it reminds me so oh, what can you do uh, but it is really useful it talks about the inclination of uh, the, the terrain you're sitting on so all of this wealth of information is present on your display screen as well as um, any errors that are um, actual uh, phrases in red and indications that are in blue so the Bellelium B1890 with this machine you're always going to be in control yeah <laughs>